The sisters of one of two women killed in this deadly wrong way crash on the Hart Bridge early yesterday morning. They're now speaking out about what they're calling dangers to drivers in that construction zone. Jaquana de Oliveira was a triplet who had just celebrated her 28th birthday. Her surviving sisters talked with News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott, who is joining us from near the scene of the tragedy. Jim. You know, Mary, I have to tell you, this was a very emotional, a very hard interview to do with the two sisters. They believe that this was just a senseless death. And what they're blaming is this construction site here at the Hart Bridge, the entrance and exit ramps. They say that it's so confusing for people to know which is which, and they believe that this could happen again. That's why they're speaking out. This picture was just taken last week when the triplets turned 28. That's Joaquina de Oliveira standing in the middle. She died yesterday when the car she was driving was going the wrong way on the Hart Bridge, hitting an out-of-service JTA bus. Her friend, Kendra Black, a passenger in the car, was also killed. Joaquina's surviving sister say the loss is just too much to take. That was like my other half. That was my best friend. She was my support system to me and my, my other sister and her niece and nephew. And she loved it, everybody. She was a kind person. And I just miss her so very, very much. That was, that was my best friend. Her other sister, Shaquana, is still very shaken and says the love for her sibling is very strong. Everybody that knew her knew that she would give her last to anybody. She was very caring. She could do for anybody. And she loved everybody. And she never was in anything wrong. The sisters are very concerned about what happened. They notice that the entrance and exit ramps from the Hart Bridge are confusing near the stadium, and they believe the lack of signage indicating someone is going the wrong way led to the crash. I truly do believe that it's just, it was terrible, you know, uh, honest, you know, honest mistake, you know. Anybody could have, you know, um, mistaken for that, anybody. That's why other family members were out at the site today, warning other drivers and confronting the contractors about the confusing signs. I just want justice. I just want justice because she should not have died. While some small changes were made today regarding signage, we are checking with the city to see if there are other plans to make this less confusing. These sisters just don't want to see this happen to anyone else. My heart just goes out to you, too. I'm so sorry. I, I, and I want people to know we that. We came here together. We came in this world together. That's our other half. It's not going to be the same. It's, it's, it's not, not going to be the same without her. And I know that's hard for a lot of people. In fact, they have a GoFundMe site set up, which we have information at newsforjacks.com. By the way, the other passenger, Kendra Black, in the car, I've reached out to her family as well. Right now, they didn't want to talk. They're grieving alone at this point. For now, we're live at the base of the Hart Bridge, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.